Hi, boys and girls. Today we're going to go over art room procedures, sketchbooks, quiet signals, and daily routines. So hello, boys and girls, and welcome to art. My name is Meg Davis, and I am your art teacher this year at Gilbert Elementary School. If you remembered my name, kiss your brain. You are on track. It is Miss What? I think I just heard you say it. Thank you so much for remembering my name. You're right, it's Miss Davis. Thank you guys. Well, anyway, just wanted to tell you a little bit about me. Um, I've been an artist all my life and I studied fine art at Texas State University in San Marcos where I received my fine arts degree. After graduation, I became a painter and began living in and creating in Texas and part-time in San Miguel de Inde, Guanajuato, Mexico. You can find my artwork at artbymeg.com if you wanna see what I did before I became a teacher for 25 years. That's how I supported myself. For 25 years, I was a painter and I was showing and selling my work in galleries and online. And I met a teacher at the San Antonio Museum of Fine Arts who made a difference in my life. And I decided to go back to Texas State University and attend the graduate level classes in education to become a Texas K through 12 art educator. And I've been an art teacher for the last 13 years because of running into that inspirational teacher. And I really love what I do um, what I really love about teaching art is noticing how students find ways to express themselves in unique and creative ways. Also, my goal is to inspire an appreciation and understanding of how art plays a part in our lives every day. Normally, we would go to the art room and go over routines with Miss Davis, but everything is so different now Due to COVID-19, we stay six feet away from our friends and teachers. We wear a mask at all times, and we do everything we can to stop the spread of COVID-19. We're all doing our part to stay safe. Kindergarten all the way through fifth grade has been washing their hands, keeping their distance, and giving everybody the space they need to have whether if it's in conversation or in line walking down the hall. I have noticed that this takes a quiet concentration and that everyone is really working together here at Gilbert Elementary School. We are really, really doing what we can to show respect physically, mentally, and spiritually. So I just wanna thank everybody for your good spirits and um, positive, positive words and actions, um, it really shows. So thank you everyone. I appreciate all that you've been doing to provide everyone and the students and me peace of mind. It is so good to meet you. And I'm going to be walking around and um, asking you a little bit about yourself so that I can learn your name. Um, you may need to remind me the second time because I have 700 students. So I, I hope that you will help me with that uh, because I really do want to learn your name. Um, and normally in art class, we would be in the art room and you would share a table with three people and you would all have a classroom job. This year, we're staying six feet apart from each other to be safe and carefully not leaving our desks for any reason unless we need to stay six feet apart, you know? That's what we have to do. So that's, that's our job now is to stay seated and to stay at our desks. Uh, what is the same is that we will start every art class off by pulling out your sketchbook. And I'm going to give you that to decorate. We are going to be doing a lesson on our um, Hispanic Heritage Month. We will be drawing a sugar skull at the end. And our artists today are Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera in their honor because they are from Mexico. 
And this tradition of Day of the Dead or Dias Los Muertos is from their tradition. And it's really quite beautiful to um, honor their ancestors. And the way they do that is by making Day of the Dead altars and remembering everything that their ancestors like to eat and what they like to drink and bringing the smells and the food and the richness of that culture into your home every year and talking about people we love helps us keep them alive and well in our hearts and in our lives. What a wonderful tradition that we can all learn from. So I will be passing out your sketchbooks. Uh, you will be decorating them in a little bit. I do need you to put your name and teacher on the paper and try to fold it as well as you can. Use your desk as a tool. Okay, if you don't get it right, just try again. And I will be giving you a warm up to practice line drawing techniques. And this is all about uh, squares, triangles, spheres, um, trying to make cubes. And you will be practicing ha cross hatching in different ways to show shading on um, different shapes. You will be doing this on a level zero very quietly as I go over and practice the quiet signals. Now, girls and boys, we are going to need quiet signals. We always do. So um, we need to do this when we're transitioning or changing for painting or if we have a fire drill. But everybody needs to get these down. And this is our first day together, first week together. So it's really important that we go over them and that you know how to do them. You're going to hear me say class. You'll say yes, I'll say Mona, you'll say Lisa, I'll say, say hands up, you'll say stand up, and you'll do hands up, stand up. Um, you will bring out your sketchbooks the minute you see me coming, and you will have a warm up for five minutes, level zero. When it is time to clean up, I will put on the Mission Impossible song. I will give you 20 seconds to put everything away. I will say hands up, stand up as your signal, and you need to be on a level zero clean and wipe down your desk and then put your head down. Um, it's time to for us to play a game or in class. Okay, so I guess that's about it. But um, I hope this helps you. And I will be walking around trying to learn your names now, okay? And I, I am really looking forward to getting to know you. And I wanted to tell you the work that you've been uploading on the Google Classroom has been fantastic. So it's so good to see you in person. Thank you for being here and thank you for keeping us all safe and making us all feel very respected. Thanks, bye.